Please be seated. Good morning. I'm beyond grateful for this opportunity to welcome each of you to celebrate the Wade Hampton class of 2020. We welcome students, teachers, counselors, staff members, school administration, friends, family, district officers, administration, and virtual viewers. We welcome Superintendent Dr. Royster. We welcome Associate Superintendent Mr. Reimer. And another big thank you to our special guest, Linda Leventis Wells, Michelle Goodwin Cowell, Chuck Sailors, and Glenda Morrison Fair. Thank you all for constantly showering our class with love and support through our high school career and as we move on to the next level of our lives. During these times of such uncertainty, it is soothing to know that as a school and community, we remain united, showing fortitude and resilience. Each year, the graduating class selects a quote to represent their high school career. This year, the quote is from myself. Our class quote is as follows. Treat every moment like it's your last. Give 100% effort in all you do. You never know if you'll get the chance again. This quote embodies the class of 2020 as we have lost some of the moments we assumed we were entitled to. If we had known that Friday the 13th was our last day, we might have done things differently. The lesson we learned is that there's no time to waste. We should spend time with the things we love and the people we love. Stay true to ourselves and refrain from trying to please others. We can't miss out on opportunities because of fear. We must reach for our goals, even if there's a possibility of failure, because every failed experiment is one step closer to success. Our class has learned this lesson firsthand and will be prosperous because of it. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. All right, let's get started. All right, good morning, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Cohen Luquire, and I was the student body president this past year at Wade Hampton. Again, I'd like to welcome everyone who is here with us today, and also those of you watching at home. I'll start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. 
The last two months have caused life as we know it to change dramatically. I know not a single person here imagined our graduation ceremony being conducted with everyone wearing custom Wade Hampton face masks or having enough room to stretch out and move around without coming close to the person next to them. As Brennan Huff said in the movie Step Brothers, look at this space, so many activities. We all as students have been doing or not doing our schoolwork from home, parents have been working from home, and none of us have been able to go out and do the things we love to do. Spring athletes were stripped of the chance to play one last season. Members of the band or chorus weren't able to perform that one concert they had worked so hard to perfect. Everyone has lost the chance to do something they love to do. Although these last few weeks have been mostly negative, we can't let it make us forget all the amazing, th all the amazing things the senior class has done. This senior class has done some incredible things over the last four years. The class of 2020 has helped raise over $1.1 million for local nonprofit charities. Many athletes have become stars in their respective sports, and some are even taking it to the next level to play in college. Senior members of the marching band have helped the band evolve into one of the great bands in the state of South Carolina, and in 2017, they took themselves to the state final for the first time in school history. Students who are members of clubs at Wade Hampton have logged countless service hours for volunteer organizations. The class of 2020 at Wade Hampton High School has been nothing short of extraordinary, and the accomplishments don't stop here. Whether you're going to college next fall, joining the workforce, or enlisting in the armed forces, I want you to continue to be extraordinary. Continue to work hard and give it your all, and I know that you will be successful. All of you graduating today have worked so hard to get to this moment, and I hope that you take that same determination that got you here into your next chapter of life. I want all of you to know that you've made so many people so, so proud. Your parents, your siblings and grandparents, your aunts and uncles, your teachers, your friends, all of them are so proud of what you've been able to accomplish. And I know they all look forward to what you will all become. I know these last few weeks haven't been the most fun, but these last four years have been the best of my life, thanks to y'all. I'm so glad that Wade Hampton allowed me to meet so many awesome people, and I know that the best is yet to come for all of us. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you, Cohen, for those, fun, those nice words. Um, good morning, my fellow classmates of the class of 2020. If you don't already know me, my name is Mac Varga, and I am our salutatorian this year, and it is an honor to be able to speak with all of you today. I would like to congratulate first all of you for getting up so early on this dark May morning after months of not being able, not going to class and not having to get up. In times like these, the small victories are those that count. And like many of you, I'm excited to be able to move on eventually from this crisis and get back to some semblance of a normal life. I also lament the loss of our classmate along with our prom and several other things that we've lost in this time. But today is not about what we have lost, but about what we have gained. And everything that we have gained this year and over these past four years is nothing short of a clear victory that will carry us into the future, our victory. We have come so far in this march of life, and we have so much more left to go. When we started elementary school, 9-11 was fresh in America's minds, and flip phones were still a thing. Now, those flip phones have turned into smartphones, and we have the power of all of humanity's vast array of knowledge at our fingertips. Sometimes a little bit too much for our teacher's taste, but still. Additionally, we have seen the vast changes from climate change and have had the first African-American president of the United States in our lifetime, during our time in school. And now we live in an unforeseen pandemic, the, the likes of which the world has never seen before, and if it wasn't so terrifying, it would be fun to read about in world history. But today is not about the victory of any particular one of us, of me, of any of the people speaking today. It's about the victory of all of us as a group. This is also a victory, not just for us as classmates, but for our teachers, our staff, our principal, and the district officials that all helped us to get to the point of where we are today. 
and we would not be here without them. And that is a perspective that I think I've gained over these last four years at Wade Hampton High School. The perspective that none of us are here entirely because of our own choices or entirely here because of our decisions. It's because of the help that we have been given by people that have been around us, even if that help is not always visible. And I would say that that is an appreciation that has to come in when we think about all those record-breaking spirit weeks we've had over the last four years. We would not have been able to raise all of that money without the help of all the classes behind us and that came before us and after us that have worked to help us along with the staff and the faculty that were patient when we went to those bonfires, had to put off a test, or even watched a movie on the lawn. And the same thing comes into how we became a national blue ribbon school during our freshman year. It was the work of all of us together creating an environment that is friendly for everyone. And that's sort of the spirit of leading like a general that I've learned from White Hampton High School. The spirit of cooperation is important to getting through in life. But that is not to say that our individual accomplishments are only due to the actions of others. Today is the result of all of our own choices and our own hard work that we've done over these past four years. And we've, it has shown that we are here today, that we have taken on life's challenges and have prospered. We are the majority contributor in our own success. And while there is much in life that you can't control, there's also so much more that you can. And I hope as all of you go out into the world in the midst of this pandemic and afterward, to remember that, that our lives, we can control our fate. And earlier this morning, you heard our um, wonderful class president, Carmela Hawkins, say, treat every moment like it's your last. Give 100% effort in all you do. You never know if you'll get the chance again. And while I would say that is definitely sound advice, in these times, that is a little bit too sound given the whole death-causing pandemic thing going on outside. And I can say comfortably that I know that Joe Exotic took that, that idea to heart when he said, I went to work every day prepared to die in a tiger cage. Dying doesn't scare me at all. He definitely treated each moment as if it was his last. And while I would definitely not go that far as to work in a tiger cage, I think the spirit of that is something we can all live by, which is if we go and put 100% effort into everything we can do, we can make the world so much of a better place. And I think truly in 20, 30 years from now, if the legacy we leave is that we all gave 100% effort and reap the benefits of that effort, then that will truly be our victory. Thank you. The last time we were together was Friday, March 13th, and for the first time, the superstition of Friday the 13th was as unfortunate as it had always claimed to be. Personally, the day was kind of a blur, a day filled with uncertainty due to the copious amount of information regarding the pandemic. Of course, with this pandemic, we, are, we as an entire class, not only here at Wade Hampton, have lost everything we've been working to achieve for the past 13 years. From waking up at 7 a.m. to get to school on time, but still being counted tardy because of a train. Or waking up early for a club meeting or physics help and still failing the test. In my case, repeatedly. We've endured more than we're giving credit for. However, as, is, as difficult as it has been, juggling schoolwork, jobs, and extracurriculars, there have been bright moments and good memories we've experienced here together. And now we will appreciate each of these moments more because of our current situation. For me, these include bus rides home with my teammates after an away game, or listening to the band fill the hallways playing five o'clock before each pep rally. And of course, Spirit Week, because there's no greater feeling than knowing you are a part of something bigger than yourself. And at Wade Hampton, that is always the case. I understand that since our year was cut short so abruptly, it can be easy to regret some of our actions or regret not taking action. But we can't be too hard on ourselves. We couldn't have known March 13th was our last day in class. I oftentimes wonder what I would have done differently if I had known. Probably hugged my classmates more, thanked my teachers, counselors, and the Wade Hampton staff for investing so much time in me every day. 
If this year has taught me anything, it's to invest your time in what matters most to you. Time is limited, especially time with the ones we love. When we think about high school, we remember the good times, like chip witches at lunch and how mesmerizing the sunset was on the night of the check reveal this year. We don't immediately think about stress, anxiety, and the exhaustion that school caused us, which makes it even more worth it. It is imperative to realize that all of our sacrifices paid off because we're here today as a result of hard work. With the expense of sleep and tons of tears, we've reached our goal. It is said that there are always happier days to remember, and the more deranged things are, the happier those days seem to be. But one thing this pandemic has given us is perception. We've been given the time to reflect on our past and dream of what we would like our future to hold. Tony Stark said, it's not about how much we lost, it's about how much we have left. And I couldn't agree more. One thing I've learned is that things are, the things that are important to us right now are not going to be nearly as important to us in the next four to 10 years. I intend to in no way downplay our accomplishments and how far we've come. However, when I think back to myself freshman year, I'm sickened. And I'm sure some of you also have this reaction. Reflecting on our past selves with embarrassment or awkwardness is a sign of growth. Although we've all had very different experiences throughout these past four years, we spent them together. And because of this, we share a special bond. This very moment is our turning point as we use the tools we've been given to build the life we've been dreaming of. We will finally have the opportunity to see the world for ourselves, not through the eyes of our parents or mentors, but through our own eyes. This is unprecedented and stressful for us all. Some of us have been directly impacted while some have not. It is important to see the bigger picture and use this as an opportunity to help others, to see events from a different perspective, and to be true to ourselves. Everything happens for a reason. We can see the earth is taking this time to heal. We should be doing the same, not just personally, but within our community as well. I'm truly proud of our accomplishments and I cannot wait to see how we will improve the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carmela. That was, that was great. Greetings, students, faculty, administrators, and the many supporters of Wade Hampton High School's 2020 class. My name is Abigail Bird, in case you haven't met me, and I am incredibly honored to be speaking to each and every one of you today. I would first like to thank my family, friends, teachers, mentors, and Jesus for walking with me through each step in the last 13 years of my education. Well, here we are. As soon-to-be graduates, we stand on a dividing line between one phase of our lives and another. In the next few moments, we'll have the unique chance to step from one part of our life into the futures that we've imagined for so long. Receiving our diplomas will be a defining part of our lives, or as some people may have told you, in the path of our lives. A pathway is a great metaphor for us as we move from one part of life to another. But before the coronavirus arrived, the only time I thought about pathways in my life was when I thought about my future. When I imagined the path my life might take, I dreamed of a handful of straightforward linear events that would get me from one chapter of my life to another. <laughs> when I was a kid, these childhood dreams that I had might be similar to yours, and in them, my life followed a progression like this. Birth, elementary school, middle school, high school, then homecoming, then prom, then the end of senior year, graduation, maybe college, and then it would be time to face a world filled with endless possibilities. It's safe to say this pandemic has disrupted a lot of what we thought our paths would look like for these past few months, and it may continue to do that for the next couple of years. During this time, 
My perspective shifted a bit when I realized the many pathways that we've traveled throughout our lives. The best definition of a path I've been able to find is from songwriter Drew Miller, who states, paths are the ways we follow to get from one place to another. Over time, I discovered this definition reveals the many layers present in the pathways that we travel. First, pathways are essentially collaborative. Many people can travel down a path, though no two people will have the same experience, even when traveling down the same path. When you walk down a path, you travel in the wake of the people who came before you while making your own mark on the path that, that others will travel after you. And finally, Paths are so much more than just physical walkways. Pathways exist in the memories that we share, in the stories we tell, and in the art we love. Whether in the steps of a melody, the process of learning something new, or in our growing and changing relationships with those around us, we follow infinite seen and unseen pathways in our lives to get from one place to another. At Wade Hampton, everyone can see in our yearbooks or through events like Spirit Week, how our shared experiences have helped shape us into who we are today. For me personally, the path of my life changed when I took math in high school. Math was impossible for me in elementary and middle school, but after taking pre-calculus, I learned about the value in problem solving and teamwork while making some of my favorite memories and my best friends. Though my experience isn't universal, that time represents a shared memory and shared pathway that I'll remember forever. But, all that being said, what do we do when our paths lead us to unexpected places? How do we react when our experiences just weren't what we hoped? What do we do with the missed chances, the failures, the lost time? If we want to make our lives look like they were before and forget the broken parts of our lives, we'll have to change our stories and our paths in some way. One of your options is that you could focus on forging your own paths and futures. Forget the old paths filled with pain and instead focus on building a new way to go. Out with the old and with the new. But if you remember anything from history class, the way forward has to recognize the failures of the past to make progress. Your other option is that you could abandon the future and focus on the past instead. It's so much easier to love everything that happened in our past when our futures seem so full of uncertainty and pain. However, constantly longing for the good old days causes us to forget the possibilities in our future and therefore of our hope. So, what's the best way for us to face the unknown paths ahead? The answer to this question is both mundane and miraculous. Now, for me, math used to be pretty mundane. Let's all admit, it can be pretty boring. But through my shared experiences with the teachers and classes at Wade Hampton, I found a miraculous community through my experiences that helped shape me into who I am today. So, don't fall asleep to the richly beautiful world around you. Keep telling stories and singing songs. Share your share your memories with your friends, and don't forget the pathways you've shared with your loved ones. At the same time, look ahead to your futures with hope. Know that things will get better. But as you step out into the paths that you've traveled, know that there will be many, many paths that continue to pass you by each day. Above all, we must not waste time trying to make our paths devoid of brokenness and imperfections. However painful and uncomfortable it might be, often the most valuable moments in our lives come when we embrace our weaknesses. As you step out into the paths that lie ahead, continually transform the unplanned and the broken into new avenues for empathy and growth. So, what else remains for us but to take the first step? All that is left for us to decide in times like these is what to do with the time that is given to us. Give your all to everything that you do and know you're not alone in the paths that each of you travel. The path is worn, but to us it's new. Find the joy and the journey in every new and old moment. You never know what may cross your path. As put well by J.R.R. Tolkien, when you step out of your door, if you don't keep your feet, 
there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. Thank you. It's my turn to do this. Our victory, go for it, and the path ahead. Powerful, powerful words. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Cohen. Um, thank you, Camilla. Thank you, Abby, for those powerful words. I don't know if I have anything to say after that. You guys did a phenomenal job and a message that I think all of us can definitely live by. Good morning and welcome to the graduation ceremony for the 60th graduating class of Wade Hampton High School. It is my esteemed pleasure to offer congratulations to each and every senior who is a candidate for graduation. These seniors have demonstrated leadership, service, teamwork, and kindness. Their ability to be flexible, proactive, and engaged, especially during this year's switch to a stay safe at home time, is quite amazing. And I would venture to say it is quite historic in nature. I'm looking at the seniors right now. Decades from now, you're gonna sit before your children or your grandchildren, and you're gonna tell the story about being the graduating class that graduated and persevered in the middle of a world pandemic and persevered through it all. On behalf of the graduating class, I extend sincere appreciation to the parents, grandparents, family, and friends who have encouraged, supported these graduates all throughout their lives. This milestone has come many, many years in the making, and Wade Hampton High School has a long, proud tradition of excellence in every aspect of the high school experience. Graduates, right now, please show your appreciation to your family. I want to send a, a, a special thank you to Superintendent Dr. Bork Royster, Deputy Superintendent Dr. Scott Turner, Assistant Superintendent for High Schools, Mr. Scott Reimer, our team of high school principals and graduation staff who have worked unimaginable amounts of hours in making this in-person graduation today a reality. It has been a group effort to do so for students. And frankly, it has been quite remarkable to see the collaboration between district staff, city officials, law enforcement, and the Bon Secure Wellness Arena staff to make this ceremony, the ceremony today a reality. We also want to acknowledge and appreciate the many district building service staff members who are working every graduation ceremony to clean this facility before and after each ceremony to prepare for the next one. There's another one this afternoon, and, and this arena will be prepared for it. Let's take a moment, all of us, to thank all of those individuals for helping come together to make this a reality for the class of 2020. I would also like to recognize the Board of Trustees whose dedication to all of our students of Greenville County Schools is unmatched. We are fortunate to have a forward-thinking Board of Trustees. In attendance today to honor our students are and they are seated to my left, your right. Board of Trustees uh, President, Linda Leventus Wells, who represents Area 22 and a proud Wade Hampton alum. Michelle Goodwin Caldwell, Chuck Sailors, and Glenda Morrison Fair. Please, thank you very much for being here. <laughs> Joining me on stage this morning are Mr. Eric Burrow, the faculty representative for the graduating ceremony elected by the senior class. Assisting in the calling of student names will be Mr. Greg Winder, 12th grade administrator, and Mr. Michael Stone, 11th grade administrator, and they're representing our administrative team. Additionally, seated throughout this arena are the most dedicated and effective faculty and staff that I have ever had the privilege of working with. They have worked tirelessly uh, each and every day to bring the power of education to our students. Normally, they will be sitting right here on the floor with our students. But today, they're working all throughout this arena to make sure we adhere to social distancing standards and protocols. Please, at this moment,
please give a big, big, big thank you to our wonderful, wonderful staff of Wade Hampton High School. This morning's ceremony is being broadcast live to friends and relatives all around the country, and including deployed family members who are serving our country over, over or all around the world. In an effort to show respect to each student and ensure that every name is heard, both here in the arena and at home, we are asking that you hold your applause until the appropriate times. It is now my pleasure and honor to present to you the Wade Hampton High School Class of 2020, Seniors prepare to receive your diplomas. I hope you're ready. As you are aware, graduation is a memorable experience in the lives of so many, and certainly in the lives of the members of the senior class. We request that those of you in the audience display the honor, dignity, and the respect that we have earned, deserve, and desire as we receive our diplomas. Please be aware that this ceremony is live streamed, and we want our graduation to be shown with dignity and respect. We ask that you hold your applause until all diplomas have been awarded, and please refrain from any distracting expressions during this special ceremony. We will have a time after all graduates have received their diplomas when family and friends can stand, applaud, and congratulate the senior class. Thank you. Good morning. On the front row, number, on row number one, you see a chair that is draped with a cap and gown. That is in memory of one of the classmates of the class of 2020, Natalie Ospina, who sadly passed away on May 3rd of 2020. So today, she is a member of this class. She's not here, but never forgotten. This year, Career and Technology Education, CTE, completers are being recognized for completion in various career clusters. These students that have earned completer status through the Career Center and or through the CTE program at Wade Hampton High School. Each year, students who earned a 3.8 or higher GPA for four years graduate with honor. Students who earned a 4.2 or higher GPA for four years graduate with high honor. With the Academic Achievement Honors Award, the State Department of Education recognizes graduates who earn no less than a B for all coursework for four years and achieve the equivalent of a 710 on the SAT verbal or a 690 on the SAT math. These students earn the distinction of academic honors. Before we start to present the diplomas this morning, I want to remind the class of 2020, you did not have the chance to do the two practices that we would have had you come to Wade Hampton High School and to the venue to sit there for two hours and listen to us say, do this and do that. So you're a smart class because you're going to do it anyway. So I'm gonna ask you today to make sure that you follow the direction of your line leaders as they bring you around. Make sure that you are social distancing and make sure that you move in a timely manner. Reminder, as names are being called, we're calling everybody's name in the class whether they're here or not. So some people will not be here. On this square right behind me, as you come up, if you do not hear your name call, please do not move until your name is called. When you walk over to Dr. Grant, make sure you walk to the right side of him on the outside of the plexiglass. 
Right. We're going to make every effort to pronounce the graduates' names correctly. Remember, we haven't had a practice to do this. However, if an error is made, we do sincerely apologize. Class of 2020, your shirt said, end game. So are you ready to end this game? Let's now present our class of 2020. Abigail Grace Bird with academic and high honor. McIntyre Miles Varga with academic and high honor. Carmela Ingrid Hawkins with high honor. James Cohen LaCroix with academic and high honor. Ke Kelly Louise Babb with high honor. Sally Salea Abdanabi with high honor. Carrie Ann Abercrombie. Kiera Jontanika Abercrombie. Ahmad Nadal Abdanjam with honor. Asia Swells Adonimus with academic and high honor. Chaibuke Godson Ajero. Jameson Reese Alexander with high honor. Sierra Nicole Allen. Dana Paola Altamira Alvarado. Christopher Hebron Andrade. Fatima Elizabeth Are. Mario Fernando Argelis Santos. Jane Marie Armstrong with high honor. Mary Neve Arnold with academic and high honor. Kaya Ashmore with honor. Craig Randall Aspen, Jr. Leroy Azevedo Aguilar, Automotive Technology Completer. Andrew Raleigh Baker with high honor. Forrest Green Baker. Naquan Lamar Banks. Brittany Delenn Barnett. Kimmy Jacqueline Barrera with high honor. Kira and Denise Batten with academic and high honor. Casey Lynn Baxley. Sydney Ann Bell with high honor. Caroline Melinda Bechto with honor. Joe Samar Benitez.
Brianna Tamika Benson, Health Science Completer. Valentina Bentacar Palomino. Chesney Alicia Bershing with academic and high honor. Lane George Blackwell, automotive technology completer. Americas Desiree Blanding with honor. Garrett Preston Boiling with high honor. Evan James Boiling with honor. Tyler Loris Boings. Grace Catherine Brackett with academic and high honor. Cameron Antonio Breeze. Nick Kent Brennigan with high honor. Jonathan Thomas Brennan with academic and high honor. Kathleen Adair Brewell. Dontavius Ladorian Alexander Brewster. Bryce Kirby Bridwell with high honor. Bethany Catherine Brown with high honor. Jaden Drew Brown with high honor. Cassidy Ann Bryant. Victoria Opal Bryant Wyatt with honor. Sierra Alexis Burns with honor. Saeed Akil Burnside. Michael Richard Burris with high honor. Myquan Trion Burton. Jacob Ryan Bush. Caitlin Abigail Butler. Caleb Michael Barolis. Ellen Kate Calder with academic and high honor. Martin Calixo, David Calixo Marina with high honor, Melvin Mikel Carpio Sanchez, Matu Technology Completer. Madeline Carpio Sanchez. Chase Jacob Carty with high honor. Javon Kenneth Carter with high honor. Emma Leah Carver with honor. Russell Andrew Kassad with honor.
Faith Margaret Casayas with academic and high honor. Kelly Castro with honor. John Walsh Kavanaugh with honor. Melanie Rexmay Khan with high honor. Connor Glenn Chambers with high honor. Lauren Elizabeth Champagne with academic and high honor. Chris Park Ahn Shaw with high honor. Caleb Daniel Childers with high honor. Cameron Michael Clapper. Boyce Allen Clardy with high honor. Bentley Louise Clark with the academic and high honor. Cole Davison Clark, law enforcement services completer. Zachary Thomas Clark. Mackenzie Lee Clinch with high honor. Rebecca Lynn Cobb with high honor. Zakiah Haven Coker Golden, law enforcement services completer. Jonathan Levi Conway. Christopher Calloway Cooper. Tyler James Corn. Damian Allen Cottrell with honors and mechatronics technologies completer. Damian Allen Cottrell with honor and in Mechatronics Technologies Completer. Graham Allen Cross with high honor. Ivalice Claudia Cruz, Mechatronics Technologies Completer. Christian Ramon Cruz Cruz. Maria Salamo Corvio Ortez. Douglas Taylor Cole Cole Glacier with academic and high honor. Brianna Arnett Darnell. Garrett Baxley Davis. Jeffrey Wade Davis Jr. with high honor. Peyton Elizabeth Dulasha with academic and high honor. Dylan Joe Diaz, culinary arts management completer. Erica Tanya Diggs. Trang Din. Anne Mai Fong Duan with academic and high honor. Dina Doan with honor. Seth Peter Guerin Dorchin with academic and high honor. 
Casey Lynn Driscoll. Sarquicia Tamari Ann Duckett, Culinary Arts Management Completer. Reagan Renee Harrison Duhan. Annale Myers Durham. Dalton Tyler Egan. Jack Henderson Edwards with high honor. Lily Caroline Elgin. Elvis Elaraza Garcia with high honor and sports medicine completer. Michaela Addington Epps with high honor. Benjamin Luke Erkins with high honor. Samuel Lawton Evans with academic and high honor. Elizabeth Claire Faircloth with high honor. Huda Fallis with high honor. Nicholas Isaiah Fennell with high honor and law enforcement services completer. Gerante Quatrez Farrell. LaCourtney Alexis Farrell. Jocelyn Brook, Jocelyn Brook Flora with high honor. Robert Joshua Foreman with high honor. Ethan Patrick Gaines with honor and sports medicine completer. Dominique Simone Gamble. Axel Amedio Garcia Holwinger. Gregory Peck Garrigan. Christopher Samuel George with honor. Casey Lee Gibson. John Henry Gifford with high honor. Donna Gill, law enforcement services completer. Sydney Styles Gilstrap with high honor. Adrian Deshawn Gleaton with high honor. Sarvi Dominique Glenn. Rachel Elizabeth Glenn with high honor. Braylon Emmanuel Goldsmith, building construction completer. Itzo Gonzalez, sports medicine completer. Eli Francis Gosnell with academic and high honor. Isaac Rashad Graves with high honor. Grace Callahan Gravit with high honor. Evan Benjamin Greeley with high honor. Grace Ann Griffin with high honor. 
Grace Lee Guerrero with high honor. Christopher Harlan Guy, welding technology completer. Grayson Randall Hall with high honor. Brylan LaMarie Hamlin. Sarah Elizabeth Hammond with honor and cosmetology completer. Hayden Alexander Hancock. Ali Elizabeth Hannon. Olivia Grace Hannon with honor. Stephen Clark Hannon with academic and high honor. Jacob Allen Harrelson with academic and high honor. Sarah Lindo Harris with high honor. Tajela Kazad Harris. Gabrielle Rose Harrison with high honor. Jackson Dean Harvey. Mackenzie Lee Harvey with honor. Catherine Riggins Haswell with academic and high honor. Jordan Elizabeth Hayduck with honor. Charles Andrew Hayes with high honor. Elizabeth Ann Hybo with, with honor. Jonathan Trayvon Henderson. Claire Elizabeth Hendricks with academic and high honor. Carson Renee Henry. Trevor Eugene Hensley. Diana Melissa Hernandez. Andre Javier Hernandez Martinez, firefighting completer. River Zane Heron. Morgan Lynn Hester with high honor. Peyton Elizabeth Havier. Fiona Lee Hayden Linden. Nia Lene Hill. Sophia Francis Hencappy with academic and high honor. Haley Aaron Hurst with honor. Hannah Jaden Holcomb with high honor. Allison Taylor Holman with academic and high honor. Samantha Danielle Holly. Austin Michael Holmes with honor. Hudson Stephen Holmes with honor. Jackson Walker Howard. Adeline Lee Hudson with high honor.
Haley Grace Hughes. Madison Olivia Humphreys with high honor and sports and medicine completer. Edgar Omar Islis. Jacqueline Peyton Ivy with honor. Talia Lee Ivy. Ben James. Andy Jaramello. Savannah Lee Jenkins with honor. Reed Michael Jarena with honor. Abigail McKenna Johnson. Charlene Elise Johnson. Maurice Antoine Johnson, Jr. with Honor Health Science Completer. Morgan Cannon Johnson with High Honor. Hannah Autumn Jones. Judacia Micaiah Jones. Tycorje Nuquavis Jones. Olivia Paris Julik with high honor. Anthony Marie Justice with honor and health science completer. Camden Michael Cam Kaminsky with high honor and pre-engineering completer. Nuro Salea can do with honor. Rachel Ellison Cop with high honor. Zachary Thomas Keener with honor. Isabella Grace Keller. Colin Edward Kelly. Jeffrey Wayne Key III. Automotive Technology Completer. Sabrina Anna Kindervader with Academic and High Honor. David Samuel Kingsbury with High Honor. Mackenzie Lee Gale Kinney with High Honor. Cameron Elise Knox with high honor. Liam Alexander Stone Labar. Rihanna Shea Lamb with high honor. Kelsey Elise Lane. Mia Deshawn Larson Baldwin with high honor. Han Hong Lee with high honor. Kevin Nam Lee with academic and high honor. Chase Lecroy.
Anna Michelle Leguizamo. Christopher Lewis. John Bennett Liptak II with academic and high honor. Colby Jackson Lister with honor. Charlotte Rose Littlejohn with high honor. Jaden Arijah Lee Logsdon with honor. Kyle Guillermo Lopez Artero with honor. Elizabeth Lopez Carpio with honor. Juan Ricardo Lucas with honor and marketing communications completer. Lydia Reese Lyle with high honor. Michael James Lyles. Raven Alicia Lyles with honor. Shayla Yveth Maldonado Barahona with honor. Shaley Yvonne Maldonado Barahona, cosmetology completer. Nicole Ondina Marte. Maria Martin Ramos. Sergio Mauricio Martinez. Jaslyn Elaine Martinez Olivares with high honor. Alexis Patrice Mayfield. Camille Devada McCarroll. Chesney Monier McClure. Bennett Charles McCoy. Riley Andrew McDermott with high honor. Quania Elizabeth Dan McGreen, health science completer. Ellis Christine McLarty with academic and high honor. Adelaide E. McMillan with high honor. Aaron William Melton, sports medicine completer. Sierra Martinez Miles. Audrey Lee Miller, sports medicine completer. Emily Joy Miller, with high honor. Sierra Pauline Mignard. Ann Elise Moody, with high honor. Aiden Connor Moore, with academic and high honor. Kaylee Marie Moore, with honor. Alexandria Maria Morales.
Abigail Eliza Morton with high honor. Almani Shakura Mohammed, cosmetology completer. Muhammad Yusuf Kashif Mukri with honor. Danasia Nakia Murray. Jonathan Henry Peter Napier with high honor. Damaris Elena Nap Napoleoni. Joseph Lee Nelson. Christina Nguyen. Johnny Nguyen. Benjamin Jesus Ogles. Divine Destiny Udana Onokogu with honor. Juliana Alexa Ordui with honor. Isabella Sunshine Ortiz Calzada with honor. Natalie Ann Ospina with honor. Wendy Monserrat Padron Lopez. Ryan Allen Painter with high honor. Alexia Lynn Parker with high honor. Jolie Ray Pasco. Olivia Hampton Pate with high honor. Itzel Pavon with high honor. Daniel Perez Velasquez with high honor. Danny Niao Pham with high honor. Hudson Barry Phillips with honor. William Boy Lian Piang with honor. Sebastian Piquera, building construction completer. Stephanie Piquera with high honor. Isaiah Timothy Pitchford. Shanice Priscilla Pitchford. Eric Ernesto Placencia with honor. Adrian Pluma Munoz. Emily Jewel Plumley, Health Science Completer. Avery Lee Pollock, with honor.
Dalton Sidney Price with honor. Nathinapat Promcote Peabon. Haley Sierra Putman with honor and cosmetology completer. Danielle Whitney Qualls. Kalina Denise Ragler. Hannah Elizabeth Ramsey with high honor. Elizabeth Lauren Rinicky with high honor. Emily Elizabeth Ray with high honor. Sarah Jesse Rhodes with high honor. Caitlin Isabella Rice with high honor. Emily Paige Richardson. Riley Campbell Richmond with high honor. Luna Elaine Riley with honor. Dahlia Sage Robertson. Montarian Nishan Robinson. Tyrese Robert Robinson. Randall Reese Rodenberg with honor. Anupriya Roy with high honor. Jasmine Rubio Monji. Antonio Ruiz Rodriguez. Avi Morgan Runyon with honor. Cody Preston Rush. Donna Denise Russell. Omar Fabricio Salazar with high honor. Gabriele Sampaio Gomez with high honor. Jacob Allen Sams. Jeremy Whitaker Sams. John Robert Sams, pre-engineering completer. Carol Rachel Samuel, with high honor. Isaac Antonio Sanchez Morales, with high honor. Christopher Ian Sauerbray with high honor. Jonathan Isaac Savage. Jaheem Trayvon Scott with high honor. Connor Neil Seeger. Brandon Jose Segovia. Lauren Elise Sermersheim with high honor. Ashley Marie Serrano.
Samuel Robert Sharp with high honor. Kayla Nicole Sheehan with high honor. Jackson Boone Shelley with honor. Amy Faith Adeline Shearer with academic and high honor. Mitchell Jason Silver. Lauren Louisa Simpson. Clay Kennedy Smith. Diamond Giona Smith, Cosmetology Completer. Jordan Christopher Smith. Caitlin Eliza Smith, Cosmetology Completer. Mitchell Christian Smith with high honor. Trey Nelson Smith, sports medicine completer. Kevin Omar Snyder. Michelle Solis Islas. Caitlin Marie Spencer, with honor in sports medicine completer. Tyson Drake Stambaugh. Logan Grant Steele. Emmanuel Matthew Damian Dieter Steinmuller. Colin William Stevens. Rebecca Danielle Stickler with high honor. Joseph Cole Stone. Kayla McKenzie Strange with honor. Lauren Olivia Ann Strange with academic and high honor. Aaliyah McKenzie Sullivan. Jacob Ryan Swartzel with high honor. Lamaya Ariana Sweet. Jacob Thomas Taylor with honor. Andrell Terry Jr. Lorenzo Terry. Samuel Kyle Thomas. Avery William Thompson. Jeremiah Latori Thompson. Bryce Baskin Tiffany with high honor. Matthew Davis Tingle with honor. Meredith Grace Tomlinson with high honor. Julian Torres. Leslie Torres 
with honor and cosmetology completer. Shana Sarai Towns, cosmetology completer. Mackenzie Marie Trotter, with high honor. Solomon Alton Troop, Jr., with high honor. Nicholas Michael Dean Turgeon, with academic and high honor. Ian Anthony Tut. Olivia Nicole Umberger, health science completer. John Thomas Vernon, Jr., with high honor. Jacqueline Vertiz Santos, Law Enforcement Services Completer. Darielle Alejandro Villarin Gundis, with high honor in Sports Medicine Completer. Rachel Tran Bong, with high honor. Grace Ann Wattis, with academic and high honor. Madison Eccles Wade, health science completer. Ian Nathaniel Wald, with honor. Sophia Rose Wall with academic and high honor. Michelle Madeline Walter. Willem Talmadge Wambecki with high honor. Amanda Jewel Wampler with high honor. Hallie Suzanne Ward with high honor. Olivia Peace Warlick with honor. Riley Ann Wass with high honor. Ian Waters. Joshua Isaiah Watts. Alex Anderson Weaver with high honor. Jakara Jerome Wheeler. Kaysen Cole Whitmire with high honor. Emilou Elena Wilkes with high honor. Amaya Janae Williams. Anna Caroline Williams with high honor. Grace Colstad Williams. Isaiah Malik Williams. Kennedy Latrice Williams with high honor. Jordan Pauline Wilmoth with high honor. Chancellor Leroy Wilson. Joseph Christian Wilson. Lila Grace Windsor with high honor. Anna Catherine Wingard with high honor. Victor Manuel Yanez Jr.
Sakaya Nakia Jurgen. Brandon Alexander Young, Graphic Communications Completer. Romello Ezekiel Young, with honor. Olivia Carlisle Youngener, with honor. Seniors, in August of 2016, you were presented with a challenge. This challenge was based on the belief that all of you can be great. You were challenged to contribute to our school, our community, our nation, the world, and most importantly, to yourselves. This graduating class of 2020 has accomplished so much in their four years at Wade Hampton. This group has an impressive 322 life scholarship winners. 30 Palmetto Fellow Award winners. They've been offered nearly $10 million in scholarship money combined. Additionally, this group has already completed 565 college credit hours through dual credit and AP classes and earned 67 in industry standard certifications in our career and tech classes. Four times this group has been recognized by the US News and World Report as one of the top high schools in the state of South Carolina. Outside of the classroom, the accomplishments of this group have been just as spectacular. They have been spotted all over the community, opening doors and community car lines, organizing food drives and volunteering with local organizations. Most notably, it's evident within the last four years you have spent raising money for charity during our infamous Spirit Week. This year alone, in one amazing, I might say quite exhausting week, these students raised over $363,000 for our superheroes at Meyer Center for Special Children. The individual accomplishments of this class are great, but together they have taken our school and our community to new heights. I am confident that your involvement in all of the co-curricular and leadership activities available at our school enriched your high school experience enormously. If you ever wore a Wade Hampton marching band uniform, a black dress or tuxedo for orchestra or chorus, a costume for a Wade Hampton play, a dance team outfit, step team camouflage, a cheerleading uniform, or any other uniform for the other 18 athletic teams, if you've ever been active in a school club or organization, lugging a computer to a debate tournament or a prop for a speech team, or programmed a robot for robotics team, or completed in any academic team, I want you to stand right now so we can recognize you. Here's what I want you to know. That talent and intelligence is not a fixed asset. They are both very, very jagged. We should continue to explore and exploit our talents, as diverse as they may be. You see, we all have gifts that make us unique. The challenge is finding that talent and using it to fuel your passion. Not all of us have the same gifts or the same advantages, and that's quite okay. In this fast-changing world, the responsibility is upon us, and I mean all of us, more than ever, to continue learning and growing, Graduates, all of you are headed to some form of post-secondary opportunity, whether that's military, four-year college, two-year community college, the world of work, world of work. And all of these are productive steps in your life and they are significant. I implore you to never stop learning. While the process of school may have ended for some of you, learning should always be welcomed. And while you're learning and growing, do not forget to enjoy life. 
Enjoy the spoils of your future success. You know, I don't know everything, but here's what I do know. I know that life is so much better with substance and purpose. I trust that you will place yourself in the proper place to take advantage of life's opportunities. And now as you leave these hallowed halls of Wade Hampton, I hope that you always take with you the pride of this community and deep conviction that a diverse culture should be celebrated and not feared. As you glance at your teammates in the rows in front of you and the chairs beside you, I hope that all of you are grateful for the four years that you've spent together as a beautiful group, diverse in your talents, diverse in your skin color, your ethnicity, your religion, your economic conditions, and diverse in your future plans. Please come back and visit us to tell us about your new adventures. We'll be eager to hear about the next chapters in your stories. I feel honored to have the opportunity to spend the last year with you. Every single of you is important to us, and we love you. You'll forever be in our minds as alumni of Wade Hampton High School. Keep loving each other, keep supporting each other, keep paying it forward, and remember above all, keep leading like generals. At this time, I'd like to invite our distinguished superintendent, Dr. Bork Royster, to come to the podium and confer the rights and privileges of graduates upon these students. Good morning. Ordinarily at this time, and for years, either I would have stood in front of you or another representative of the administration of the district and simply pronounced you graduates. And I'll do that in just a couple of minutes. But this has been a most unusual year, that of which you don't need to be reminded. But I do want to share a couple of thoughts with you before we conclude our ceremony this morning. I fully believe that adversity reveals and measures character. This pandemic has done both of those things. But what's more important than this pandemic has been your response, your reaction, and your actions during this most unusual time. And you heard many of those things described by your speakers this morning. But one thing I'd like for you to think about, if you open your diploma, you'll see a seal on it from the state of South Carolina. And if you look closely at that seal, you'll see that it has two parts to it. The writing's so small, I doubt that you can read it from your diploma. But on each of the two sides, there is a phrase in Latin. In one side, it is translated to the English, prepared in mind and resources. The other, as I breathe, I hope. Your actions, your response, your character that's been revealed during this pandemic is proof of your potential. Unrealized potential is of little or no value. But you've responded to this in almost perfect keeping and symmetry to the motto of the state of South Carolina as reflected on that seal. On a personal and individual note, That is inspiring to me, offering hope to me, and offering hope to the rest of us that have been able to be some small part of this journey with you. It doesn't matter if it's a conversation I'm having with somebody in the Inner High Council or meeting with Inner High Council or meeting with a class with students or this year on occasion meeting inside Google Classroom a group of students, or just in a conversation with individual students. Your attitude, your actions, your leadership inspire hope in me. I fully believe, as evidenced by the way that you've handled this pandemic, you and the other more than 5,000 students that will graduate from Greenville County Schools in the coming week, that you offer great hope for our future. 
you truly have exhibited and acted upon your potential. And I believe that that reveals to us that you as a generation will far exceed our efforts and our leadership as you move forward and take on leadership roles. I also fully and firmly believe that in your time, if with your leadership, you will leave behind you a legacy far better for the subsequent generation than the one we leave to you. I believe with the leadership of this generation can more fully realize the potential of our country. So I join in saying to you, continue to lead like generals. At this time, would the seniors of this class please rise? Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2020, Wade Hampton High School, having completed all of the requirements of the state of South Carolina for graduation, upon recommendation of your faculty and your principal, by the authority vested in me by the state of South Carolina, the Board of Trustees of the Greenville County Schools, I pronounce you graduates. You may move your tassels. Congratulations. Congratulations again, students. Students, marshals, if you will, please exit the students. To our honored guests, I want to express our appreciation for your cooperation in abiding by the restrictions that are in place today's graduation. As one final request, we are asking that all guests exit the arena and its property as quickly and safely as possible once the graduates have recessed out the building. This will help ensure we remain compliant with existing requirements and our usage agreement with Bon Secours.
thank you again for attending today's graduation ceremony and maintaining social distancing throughout. Please remember, as you leave Bon Secours Wellness Arena, we ask that you head straight to your vehicles. There's no gathering in the lobby of the arena or on the sidewalks outside. This is for your safety and the safety of everyone. We appreciate your cooperation and congratulations to the class of 2020.